Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. From what we have here, we take 3 raised to power 6 to the left hand side, and this becomes x minus 2 all raised to power 6 minus 3 raised to power 6 equals to 0 here. That is, yeah, we can write this as x minus 2 all raised to power 3, then all raised to power 2 minus. 3 raised to power 3, or raised to power 2, then equals to 0 here. Then this follows when we have a square minus b square. This same thing as a plus b into brackets, then open brackets, a minus b. Then here, a standing as x minus 2, or raised to power 3, and b standing as 3 raised to power 3. That is all we have here becomes x minus 2 or raised to power 3 plus 3 raised to power 3 into bracket then open bracket x minus 2 or raised to power 3 minus 3 raised to power 3 plus bracket equals to 0 here then here we have two possible cases the first one x minus 2 or raised to power 3 plus 3 raised to power 3 equals to 0 or we have x minus 2 or raised to power 3 minus 3 raised to power 3 equals to 0 here. And solving on this side, this follows when we have a raised to power 3 plus b raised to power 3. This same thing as a plus b into brackets, then open bracket a square minus ab plus b square. As this here, this becomes x minus 2 plus 3 into brackets open bracket x minus 2 all square the minus 3 times x minus 2 plus 3 square close bracket equals to 0 here then this give us x plus 1 into brackets and open bracket the expansion here give us x square minus 4x plus 4 minus 3 open this bracket we have minus 3x plus 6 then plus 3 squared, that's 9, close bracket, equals to 0 here. Then this same thing as x plus 1 into brackets, then open bracket, x squared, minus 4x minus 3x, that's minus 7x. Then 9 plus 6, that's 15. Then plus 4, that's 19, close bracket, equals to 0 here. Here we have two possible cases. First one, x plus 1 equals to 0. Or we have x squared minus 7x plus 19 equals to 0 here. That is, solving on this side, we have x equals to minus 1, which is a real solution here. Here, we have a quadratic equation, where he equals to 1, b equals to minus 7, and c equals to 19. Applying the quadratic formula, which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. This becomes x equals to minus minus 7 plus or minus square root of minus 7 squared minus 4 times 1 times 19 over 2 times 1. As this here we have x equals to minus times minus is plus so we have 7 plus or minus square root of minus 7 square that's 49 then minus 4 that's 1 that's 19 we have 76 then over 2 and this same thing as x equals to 7 plus or minus square root of 49 minus 76 that's minus 27 over 2 also, we can write this as x equals to 7 plus or minus square root of 9 times 3 times minus 1 over 2. Then when we separate this root 9, that's 3, take it out, we have x equals to 7 plus or minus 3. Then we have root 3, root minus 1 is i over 2. Here, yeah? we have two complex solutions. Then Solving from the second case here, this follows when we have a raised to power 3 minus b raised to power 3 
which is the same thing as a minus b into bracket and open bracket a square plus a b plus b square that is here this becomes x minus 2 minus 3 into bracket then open bracket x minus 2 or square plus 3 times x minus 2 plus 3 square close bracket equals to 0 here at this year we have x minus 5 into brackets open brackets expansion here give us x square minus 4 hex plus 4 3 open bracket here we have plus 3 hex minus 6 then plus 3 square that's 9 close bracket equals to 0 here then here we have x minus 5 into brackets open bracket x square minus 4x plus 3x we have minus x then 9 minus 6 that's 3 plus 4 that's plus 7 close bracket equals to 0 here then here we have two possible cases that is x minus 5 equals to 0 or we have x square minus x plus 7 equals to 0 then solving here we have x equals to 5 which is also a resolution and here we have a quadratic equation here a equals to 1 b equals to minus 1 and c equals to 7 then applying the quadratic formula this becomes x equals to minus minus 1 plus or minus square root of minus 1 squared minus 4 times 1 times 7 all over 2 times 1 that is here we have x equals to minus times minus is plus that's 1 and plus or minus square root of 1 square is 1 and minus 4 times 1 times 7 that's 20 hits then all over 2 that is this becomes x equals to 1 plus or minus square root of 1 minus 28 minus 27 over 2. I also write this as x equals to 1 plus or minus square root of 9 times 3 times minus 1 all over 2. When we separate this with 9, that's 3. Take it out. We have x equals to 1 plus or minus 3. Then we have root 3 root minus 1, that's i over 2. Here yeah, also we have two complex solutions and therefore all together in this problem we have six solutions here, two resolutions here, two complex solutions here and two complex solutions here and thank you for watching. Don't forget this step. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up and put your comments. See you next lesson. Bye for now.